Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Let's learn computer science. Yeah, our today's uh, topic is SKI, extended SKI and Unicode. Uh, syllabus reference. <clears throat> Show understanding of and be able to represent character data in its internal binary form depending on the character set used. Now, under that, they have clearly mentioned that students are expected to be familiar with ASCII, which is American Standard Code for Information Interchange, Extended ASCII and Unicode. These three coding systems you must know. And students, they need they, they are not expected to memorize any particular character code. So you need, need not to remember what is the equivalent code for A, B, C or any, you know, character. So you don't need to remember that. You only need to understand what are these codes. So you should be able to uh, represent character data in its, in its internal binary form depending on the characters that used. That is uh, expected from students. Right. So let's start our session. Uh, first is ASCII codes. We will learn about uh, ASCII first. So American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Uh, question may come that uh, describe uh, ASCII code, uh, you know, uh, or they can ask you uh, con compare ASCII with the Unicode or compare what is ASCII. Uh, uh, extended ASCII, what is the difference between them, how Unicode is different than ASCII, you know, these kind of questions can be there in exam. So let's start uh, by having an understanding about each and every code. Starting with ASCII, ASCII is basically 7-bit code. So 7-bit code means only 7 bits are there to uh, represent any uh, character. In binary so when we say seven bit code that means two raised to power seven which is 128 different codes are available you know so starting from 0 to 127 so 0 will be uh, will be a denary equivalent for some number one will be equivalent so uh, minimum value is 0 and maximum value is 127 and in total we have 128 different codes why 128 because seven bit code and two raised to power 7 is equal to 128. So they, they may ask you how many bits are used in ASCII. They may ask you how many total characters can be represented. So you get answer from here. So if bits are asked, 7 bit. If characters are asked, how many characters can be represented? How many different codes are there? Then you will say 128 or 2 raised to power 7. And uh, if they ask what is the minimum value, it is 0. What is the maximum code, uh, value? Can be assigned it is 127 so ascii it can represent english like characters we cannot represent any other language only english characters including uppercase and lowercase both plus there are some there are numbers 0 to 9 punctuation marks there are some special symbols and arithmetic symbols like plus minus multiplication division etc equal to so these are the symbols which have equivalent value in ascii each character has its equivalent unique code. So if we talk about A, capital A is different than small a, capital, any capital letter is different than small a, and they each and every character, they have its own unique equivalent uh, ASCII code in binary and denary, right? All the codes are in sequence. What do you mean by this? So if A, whatever A is having its code, right? So if I add one to it, we'll get code for B. Similarly for small a, if whatever code I have for uh, small a, so if I add two to it, then I get code for C. So they are in sequence basically. They are arranged in sequence. All character capital together, all small letters together. So that is what meaning of this particular line. Then comes ex extended ASCII. Now, ASCII only can represent 128 characters. So, it 
there are many more characters that we want to have a equivalent binary code. So just to extend usage of ASCII, that is why the name is given extended ASCII, it is converted to an 8-bit code. Instead of 7-bit, now 8 bits are used. So double the number of total different codes which are available, which is now 256, starting from 0, going till 255. Why? Because 2 raised to power 8 is equals to 256. So 8 bit, if they ask how many bits, then 8 bits. How many different codes can be represented? 256, smallest code number is 0, going till 255. Now more characters are represented using ASCII, right? There are many more characters. Double, uh, it, it has uh, doubled its uh, uh, storage or uh, representation of different characters. Next comes Unicode. Now, Unicode is 16-bit or 32-bit code, depending upon which language you are going to represent. Any language, almost all the languages which are available in the world, they can be represented using Unicode because English, uh, because ASCII can only represent English characters. So that is why Unicode was developed so that any language, it can be represented into its equivalent binary code. So all the languages can be represented uni using universal code. And there is some part kept as a reserved part. Or you can say for private use, it is reserved so that user can assign its own characters and symbols. So if you have any language of your own, you are creating your own language, you can have that uh, language represented using Unicode because there is some private, uh, that there is some reserved part kept there for private usage. So you can represent your own language using uni universal code. Okay, now we have some past paper questions. Uh, this is a question from October, November 2022, 9618111 paper component. Uh, question is give one similarity and two differences between ASCII and Unicode character sets. Very simple. We have just learned uh, similarity. They both are used to represent unique code for each character. So in both the uh, coding system, we have an equivalent code for every character. That is the similarity. Then we can uh, figure out differences. The differences are uh, in ASCII, we, only have, we can only represent English language However, in Unicode, any language can be represented, right? Another difference is ASCII can be 7 or 8-bit. So if it is normal ASCII, then it is 7. If it is extended ASCII, then it is 8-bit code. However, Unicode is 16 or 32-bit code. So these are the differences. If you write three points, you'll get three marks. Then there is another question. A computer, this question is from May, June 2021, 9618112 paper code. Uh, state the number of characters that can be represented by ASCII character set, number of characters, right? So we have just learned that uh, 7 bits means 2 raised to power 7 different codes means 128 characters. So you can write either 128 or you can write 2 raised to power 7, you will get full marks. For extended, you can write 256 or you can write 2 raised to power 8, you will get full marks, which is 2, right? Then we have explained how a word such as house is represented. Now, you do not have to start figuring out what is the equivalent of house. In They have asked, explain how. So you just need to explain how. You don't have to give an answer that a house is uh, H for whatever character. No, you don't have to write equivalent character codes. You only have to explain how. So what do you write? You write that each character in this word which is given each character they have it they have its their own unique code they have their own equivalent unique code then each character once that code is figured out then each character will be replaced by that unique code right so if whatever the code is for h that code will be written here whatever the uh, code for o that code will be written here and also you can write that codes are written in the same order of characters in the world. So firstly, H, then O, then O, U, and then S and E. Any two points if you write, you'll get two marks. And this question is of two marks, right? So you only have to explain how. You don't have to start giving answer that house is equal. And you will not get any marks if you give uh, equivalent code for house in, you know, SKI character set. Then next comes Unicode is a different character set. 
the unicode value for the character one is denary value 49 simple so they are they have given that whatever unicode character one is it's equivalent denary value is 49 and you have to write hexadecimal value that is so simple that's not even related with unicode here so you only have to write hexadecimal value for unicode character one so character one is 49 in denary so denary two hexadecimal conversion you have to do so what is the method method is division by 16 there is one more method you can watch my video uh, for uh, hexa to decimal and decimal to hexadecimal conversions uh, so i have uh, used here division by 16 method so 49 divided by 16 so uh, 16 into 3 is 48 so quotient 3 i have written here remainder i have written here 1 so starting from here going till up going towards upside so 3 1 is the answer in hexadecimal now write the denary value for the unicode character 5 now this is question uh, which is uh, related to this topic so write the denary value for unicode character 5 now they have written how do you know what is the unicode character 5 is so how you get to know unicode character 1 they have given 49 here so you know that they have asked unicode character 5 so they are in sequence so if 49 is 1 then 2 is 50 3 is 51 4 is 52 and 5 is 53 so 53 is your answer simple this is one mark question so you get full marks if you write this answer so that's all for today uh, today we have covered ASCII, extended ASCII and Unicode characters and uh, we have solved some past paper questions based on the topic. So, thank you.